Welcome to Mock Speed Melee's 8th devlog. In this video, I wanted to go over how I turned my game from being very static, stiff, and boring to something a little more fun than before. And I started with wall jumps. You can now slide on the wall, and you don't be facing the wall to perform a wall jump either. Before, you were forced to be looking straight at the wall to perform a wall jump so that was very limiting to the player's movement. Now you can slide on the walls, and you can jump while you're sliding, you have to look at it. It's just, you know, much better, kind of like a little game you guys might know, something called Titanfall 2. The next thing I changed was the hammer's movement. Before, it was very stiff and static, but now it has a bit of sway in the movement while the player is also moving. I also added health bars. Alright, this is going to be hard for you to understand, but I am no UI designer. Even though these health bars look triple A, they look really good, I have no clue what I'm doing. Of course, when you add something, something else breaks, and that something else is parrying, so I had to go back and fix it. Now you can perform two parries. One that's a regular one, and you get the parry off, and one that's a bit slower, and you still take the damage you would have taken, but you still parry the enemy. Now that the player can lose health, they needed a way to regain back their lost health. So I added an ability called the drill. Yes, you did in fact hear me correctly. You can canonically drill your enemies in mock speed melee. Would you please stop giggling now? Oh yeah, the, the main presence of it was just to gain health back, but I think it's more fun to, uh, to drill your enemies. You have to go around the map to gain the drill ability back though by these little pickups. And to add a bit more polish to the game, I added particle effects, just some more eye candy. And now what we've all been waiting for is the gameplay loop. When you die, you have a little pop-up saying to restart, gives you your enemy kills, your highest wave, maybe some type of rank or some type of points you could get. And then there's also a little tip at the bottom to really help you get better at the game. Best tip ever. And that's about it for this devlog. That's everything I've really been working on for the past week or two. Next things I plan on adding are sound and like better level designs and stuff like that. Get some good graphics going on for the, uh, the game. So don't miss out on that. Subscribe and leave a comment. What are your thoughts right now? What are your thoughts about the game? The video maybe? First time doing audio? Pretty neat.